Hello, many people that watch my YouTube videos. This is PK, and I'm gonna do a first impressions for Extinction Mode for you guys today. And uh, I have a special guest. Uh, he's kind of a new YouTuber, but his name is Wildcatter or Dennis, his real name. And we're gonna do first impressions. Yeah. Well, my very first impression of this game after playing a few hours worth of it, which is a lot, from, and my probably my favorite thing about the game is like your weapons. The weapons about this game and the ammo that you can use for this game is just incredible. Every it ranges up from stun to explosives to incendiary, which will, which comes in handy a lot more than you would think. Especially the stuns. I think the stuns are probably the best thing in this game so far. With any gun. I don't know. I kind of like the incendiary ammo, but because yeah. like the stuns, I don't know. Like they hurt me. Did, did you ever happen to you? Because like for me, the stuns would like shock me when they were coming after me. Or yeah. I think it was another ammo. I don't remember, but there was this one ammo that, like, it shocks them, it doesn't really stun them. Like, yeah. I think the stun ammo, like, I don't remember. But, yeah, I do like the ammo, the different type of ammo types, because, like, it excludes from your normal ammo. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, so, if you wanted to just waste ammo, then it just, it's perfect. And also, I, one thing I really liked that I don't know if a lot of people will enjoy is the drill, because it really does make it feel more, like... Uh, tower defense than anything because if you just had uh, aliens running around and you just have to for a long period of time it'd yeah. just be just like zombies but the drill kind of um, stays away from that exactly so, yeah like, like like when it gets towards the end of its life cycle oh my god you get that adrenaline rush and mm -hmm. it just keeps on going yeah like some points uh, like it's like fast paced action that zombies couldn't do because if they're just coming after you you can just kill them but this is like the different types of aliens and stuff just makes it hectic and uh, oh yeah. just playing with randoms is the funnest thing ever because it, sometimes you'll get mad or sometimes you'll actually work together and it's the coolest thing in Call of Duty in a while yeah and I also like that in randoms you can actually carry yourself instead of working on the team aspect of it but when you get a good team you'll last forever mm -hmm. teams are always great in any game multiplayer for call of duty but in this one i feel like if you set up your own stuff right you can actually just hold on on your own yeah like you can if you wanted to you can go lone wolf and just play solo or go into a random game or but if you really want to get far you, you the team aspect is definitely there like the uh the sentry guns and the IMS is, like could definitely help out your team and like I like how you can deploy ammo for your entire uh, four player co-op people. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, definitely the most useful thing in this game mode is the IMS. It it saves lives. I'm telling you there's countless where the Joe's about to die and just deploy an IMS and it just takes out everything around. Yeah, the IMS is pretty good. I, yeah. I don't use it a lot because I kind of conserve my money. I'm one of those people, like, I always have 6,000 money. Like, right now, you're looking at my gameplay, yeah. and it's always 6,000 money, and I always just waste it on ammo. I never use the IMS just because I'm that type of person. Yeah. But I really do like how you can have weapon attachments. Like, the thermal scope is so good, and I just absolutely love it. And the, with the M27 IAR or whatever it is, like, it just totally dominates, especially when you get to the town. Exactly. And that's like the very first light machine gun you can buy. It's like right on a shelf. And Whoa, it's allowed. It's really not that hard to get to. It's like right I don't know, you enter the you enter the second area and it's right on a shelf. Yeah. Which is very nice. A weapon I really like is that DMR you get right in the first place. It's like two thousand and it's the one it it's the one I get go camo for, which I'll probably put up right now. But did, did you ever get that DMR? Uh, I never really actually used it. I always thought the machine guns would be the best thing to use, but I guess if you get a burst fire attachment for it, it's oh, very, yeah. very useful. No, like, the, what's really good about it is, like, what I learned right away is that it's a one-shot with normal aliens. Okay. Yeah, so, like, see, um, if you look at the gameplay, you'll see, like, uh, the 
big gigantic aliens that spit, like they'll take like three shots. Oh, the scorpions? Yeah, yeah, the scorpions will take three shots, but for normal aliens, it'd just be one shot. See, right there, Ooh. just one shot. And I don't know. I think I think the weapons are very, uh, you know, diverse on how they are because the DMRs really serve for long range purpose. And yeah. I thought like in zombies, it's kind of just like bullets are there and you shoot people, but in yeah. this, like the weapon variety is there. What do you think about like the class system? Because there's, I don't know if you've leveled up high enough to get other classes, but I've gotten up to the the engineer, and like you can be a tank, or where you have extra health, or you could be um, weapon specialist, where you get extra uh, damage, and an engineer where the drill goes faster and it helps out the drill. Like, do you think that's what do you think about the weapon classes? I honestly feel if you're gonna go lone wolf, the best thing to have is bullet damage. Because if you're slaying fast, you're not gonna get hurt as much. But if you're working as a team aspect, you you're gonna wanna have everyone on a certain position. So I mean, if you're playing with your friends, that's amazing. But if you're playing with randoms, you better just go for the lone wolf tactic tactic and just get bullets. Make sure you mow them down as fast as you can. And make sure when you use your squad points, points in the game, um, you spend it on your bullets and your IMS. I'm telling you, the IMS and your bullets will just save you. It is just, it's really a smart tactic. And eventually, if you do well, your teammates will do well. Like, they don't have to help out. Yeah, I, I think, uh... I think the squad points is also a really neat thing. I always spend it on um, trying to get my uh, weapon damage up because if you're a weapon specialist, you can get like uh, sleight of hand and stuff, so it's yeah. pretty sweet. So, and then I, I usually spend it on ammo after that, then the IMS because yeah. I think the IMS is, is important, but I I kind of want the ammo and damage for it. But also, if you're gonna go lone wolf, don't be selfish with your money. If your teammates need ammo don't be afraid to throw down an ammo pack if you have that especially if you have like specialized bullets specialized bullets will save the day like if they're attacking the drill and you shoot them with a stun they'll stop attacking that drill for a short period of time like a second or two and a second or two can kill them um wait okay that's a question i always wanted to know is like is the money is separate like this the money on your and if it's your own money, like it's, it's your own, it's, yeah, it's your own money. Okay, I thought it was uh, shared. That's I always wanted to know that because no. I was always full money. I was like, I wonder if anyone else needs it. Okay, that's always good. Well, yeah. Do you? Th well, we're gonna wrap it up here. Uh, do you think that this game mode is a huge step up for Infinity Wars game? Because uh, you know, honestly, I think this game mode will take zombies. It will give, it will give zombies a run for its money, no doubt. Yeah, I think I think it's a pretty good competitor, but I kind of want to see more. I didn't play I as much as you did, but um, this guy wraps up the video, guys. I hope you like this and check out Alcatraz's uh, channel will be in the description. So yeah, goodbye. Bye. -bye.